Now we will move on to our main event of the evening for the WBC Bantamweight Championship of the World from Dignity Health Sports Park in nearby Carson. I will start off with the interim WBC Bantamweight Champion from General Santos City, Philippines. His record, 24 wins, no losses, 20 wins coming by way of Naka. Ray Mart, the Assassin Gabalium. Ray Mart, you grew up watching Nonito Donair. What does it mean for you to be fighting the Filipino Plash for the Bantamweight Championship of the World on Saturday night? Um, it's um, an honor to fight with my idol, sir, in the ring. Um, I am so excited, too. In your last fight, you were victorious over former world champion Emmanuel Rodriguez by split decision. What did you learn in that fight that you feel will benefit you against Donair on Saturday? Like... When I look at my last fight, uh, I need to improve my um, um, head, head movement and some. I need to like um, throw, throw some more punches. All right, Ray Mart Gabali, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get back to him. But now I want to bring up a man who has been there, done that many times over again. A four division world champion. He was the 2012 Fighter of the Year. Involved in the 2019 Fight of the Year against Naoya Inoue. Coming up or back on May 29th, knocked out Nordine Obali to become the oldest Bantamweight champion in history. Ladies and gentlemen, from Boja, Philippines, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, it gives me with great honor and pleasure to welcome the WBC Bantamweight champion of the world, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donair. Thank you. Thank you. No need to. With everything that you've accomplished in your career, why do you decide to continue to fight at this high level? What motivates the Filipino Flash at 39 years of age? I think for me, after the Inoue fight, I was brought about a purpose. You know, um, after becoming fighter of the year, I was going up and down, kind of floating in, in you know, in in, in fights. But after that fight, I felt that I can do this. And I think the purpose in me, and this is why I came in really strong with, with Ubali and, and very confident today, is because I have a purpose. You know, and that purpose is becoming undisputed champion of the world. So with that being said, you are taking on a fellow Filipino in Ray Mart Gabalium. You haven't fought a fellow Filipino since we have to go back November 2nd, 2002, nearly 20 years, you fought Mark Sales. What does it mean for you to be stepping inside the ring against somebody who's 14 years younger than you, but he's 24-0, 20 knockouts, he's very hungry, he's got a big power shot, and he's looking to go ahead and sort of dethrone his idol? Well, for me, I'm actually, first and foremost, I'm proud that there's another Filipino, you know, like the Mexican had done throughout the years, you know, where they're fighting in, in this level. And for me, I'm actually proud that there is another Filipino at this type of level, you know, in this type of stage to be uh, sharing this ring with me. And um, I'm proud of that. Um, you know, I know that, that uh, Raymart is very hungry. Uh, he has a big dream. Like everybody coming from the Philippines, they, we, they, we have a dream. You know, uh, he has a dream and, and I know that he, has a, he will be at his best and this is why I'm prepared at my best as well. Ray Martz, in a recent interview, you said in preparation for Nonito Donair that you have to look out for that vicious left hook. We've seen him put away many fighters with that left hook. In training camp, how have you been preparing to deal with that vaunted left hook that Nonito Donair uses? Uh, um, every time we train in the, in the gym, um, we always like... Um, they they always um, throwing me like same 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 punches with my uh, the hook of uh, Nito, but I told that um, not that's the only that that's not the only one need to need to be like um, what you call this oh no like um. Anong dagan ay kanang di lang bantayan ba? 
Uh, he's saying that they're not, not just the left hook. <laughs> the, the respect they have with each other. No, Nito Donaire is translating for his opponent. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Go ahead, uh, continue with the translation. So he, I can he's find it he's saying that it's not just the left hook that, that he needs to look out for. I also have other arsenals that are um, that, that to look out for as well. Not just the left hook. Unbelievable. He's trash talking himself. Nonetheless. My final question, my final few questions for Raymar. You are 14 years younger than Nonito Donaire. Is it advantageous for you to push the pace knowing that he is 39 years of age? Does a faster pace, more high action, high volume favor you? No, it, 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 um, um, I know like um, even though the age is not, uh, it, it's just like a, a number, but I know that his, um, his, his movement is still there. Same as before. Now, Nonito, you've been in there with every style under the sun, but he does have 20 knockouts of his 24 victories. Do you think that your experience is going to play a factor in the fight, and how do you plan on combating the power that he has? Well, I've faced a lot of guys like Inoue, Darchinian, and, you know, even Walters, um, all these powerful guys, and, and the thing about being experienced is we have no fear of, of it. And so, therefore, we were mainly focused on our strategy and, and the variety of, of style that comes forward in my head that I can take advantage of his style. Um, ultimately, um, just 100% ready, we, we build on mental uh, fortitude so that whatever the case happens, we're always going to pu push through uh, adversity and, and, and be ready because I believe that we are only as strong as our mind uh, can be. And so I know that I'm 100% because my mind is to the roof or to the moon. <laughs> I love it. Raymar, my final question to you. What would a win over Nonito Donaire when Jimmy Lennon Jr. were to say and the new WBC Bantamweight champion of the world mean to you on Saturday night? What would that moment mean to you to become the new world champion as if you were to defeat Nonito Donaire? No, Nito just doing it all, I swear. Unbelievable. Uh, um, so, um, like, I'm so very happy but, uh, because um, of my, like, for my, like, um, dugay. Dugay rin ako na pangandoy. Makuha na ako. Uh, he, he's saying that it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it gives him great pleasure and, and happiness because it's what he's been looking for all his life to be announced as a world champion. Nonito, you've been very uh, vocal about the respect between the two. Uh, how much does it mean for you to sort of be sharing the ring with the guy who looked up to you and the fact that you don't have to trash talk, you're translating for him for crying out loud. So, and he's giving his predictions, but what does this mean for you as you sort of are on the latter stages of your career? Um, you know, it's, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just here and, and enjoying that moment of, of whatever I have in this, in this, uh, in this career. I mean, I, I wake up in the morning and, and I'm excited. Every day I'm excited. I'm in a gym. I feel like I'm 21 and I feel like I can do this for another 10 years. Another 10 years. Wait a minute. You're going to fight till you're 50? Yeah, why not? Why not? You know, all where, these Where's guys... Rachel at? Is Rachel okay with that to fight Well, it depends 50? on the queen, right? The queen, depends on the queen where, 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 uh, where my life stands. Um, you know, I, I, I'm just, I'm just, each day I take it, each fight I take it, and I'm just grateful for every moment of it. You know, and I love the fact that, and I want to bring it all out there, that this is a gentleman's sport. You know, I believe that it gives a lot of credibility of a fighter when he can speak to somebody with respect, with sportsmanship. You know, and that's what I bring out there, is, is to inspire people that it's not about being on top and talking crap about other people. So yes, there's, there's things like that, and that's okay. It's part of the game. But I believe that uh, a greater man is when he can look into his, his opponent's eyes and shake hand with them and go for the kill when they're in the ring. You know, at the end of it all, it's, it's a sport, it's a game, it's, it's, it's a career. You know, and again, everybody's different. They have their own perspective. For me, my perspective is I love the, the sport of boxing. It's what given me everything that I have, and I'm going to represent, represent it to the best of my ability with respect, with honor, and integrity. You talked about... You talked about unification. 
Assuming all goes well and you're victorious over Raymark Balio on Saturday in Showtime Championship Boxing at Dignity Health Sports Park. And you say, Park. and still, you say new for him, so you got to say Okay, so still. assuming that Jimmy Lennon says, and still, you know, the WBC Bantamweight Champion of the World, as you look at unification when it comes to Naoya Inoue, I was in Japan, that was an amazing fight. Or also a man who you talked about respect, there's been some trash talk with... You know, on the side of John Riel Casimero, he holds the WBO Bantamweight Championship. Where do you lean towards? Is that next for you? Assuming that all goes according to plan and Jimmy Lennon says, and still WBC Bantamweight Champion of the world. The very key, and I will always say this, the guy that I truly trust in this game is Richard Schaefer, and I'm always going to leave it up to him. So it's up to Richard Schaefer and your promotional team to go ahead and dictate as to what's next for Nonito Donaire. But I'm going to go after all of them. Okay, so in a way, in order, Donaire, or not Donaire, but uh, in a way, or, uh, you know, Casimero, who would you want? Well, they both have the belt that I'm looking for. But again, whatever's easier, and I'm, again, I'm going to leave it up to Richard, because Richard knows how to make fights. All right, now we're going to open, up, open it up to questions from the media. If you have questions for the fighters up here, by all means, raise your hand and ask them questions. Hi, this question is for Nonito, uh, Miguel Maravilla from Fight News. Nonito, you fought numerous times at, at uh, Carson, uh, StubHub Center, Home Depot Center, and now it's the Dignity Health Sports Park. There's been lots of memorable fights. Now you're fighting a fellow Filipino. Why is this fight going to be memorable and in the same way as you know, some of the memorable fights that well, StubHub I think that has hosted? For me, it just shows where my uh, experience and, and the level of, of my performance is, is going to be on this fight. But mainly, I, I am really proud that there are two Filipinos um, fighting, um, you know, in this stage. So, yeah, ultimately, that's, that's, that's my case, why it's memorable for me. Um, but the performance that I intend to, uh, to showcase uh, on Saturday is also going to be um, uh, not, noteworthy. More questions from the media? Uh, this question is for Brandon. Um, not overlooking um, Juan, but um, say you do come out victorious. Is 2022 going to be a campaign there for um, one of the title shots? Um, I, I believe so. I'm 23 years old, and uh, by the end of 2022, my team and I, you know, Cameron Duncan and my team will get together and uh, we'll discuss that. This is Frankie Olage for FightHype.com. Uh, my question is for Raymond Caballo. Raymond, um, how do you approach this fight knowing that Nonito is, is an idol to you and at the same time he's an older fighter? You obviously have respect for him, but how are you approaching this fight mentally? Um, I can talk too much, like, but I will do my best in the ring. Ah, see, see what? Ah, 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 what? 